Hi, this is Marlena, and today I would like to talk a little bit about you and your home. It has to be in balance, just like you and I must be in balance to feel good and have high vibrational energy flowing through our entire body and our home space, which includes the exterior of your house must be in balance. I am not that great at drawing with a mouse, but I did a pretty good job um, on a home. And you notice the red front door, which is a very high fire energy, according to the Feng Shui Bagua. A red door invites fire energy. Fire energy draws in fame and fortune and success for the most part. It can draw in um, a high energy. The, the house is speaking for itself. It's saying, I am a house that is full of happiness, fire, joy, laughter, love, abundance. Okay. So, as you also notice, there are windows that match and two little um, bush trees that are evenly spaced and balancing out the front of the home. So, as you are looking at the front of your home or your apartment or the space that you are sharing with somebody, um, look around the exterior of the place and make sure that it is in balance. If it's out of balance, try and bring it into balance in one way or another by putting potted plants there or um, you can, um, you know, put some kind of um, vases out there. Anything that you can balance out that energy, make it more even on each side. Now, the other thing that we want to look at today is the cleanliness of the exterior of the home because the energy of your house enters in okay from the outside so uh clean up weeds trash debris um sweep it you know clean it up break it up um make it look clean outside so the energy can flow um around the house in a real easy breezy manner. Um, energy flows much easier where there is open space. So remove all um, exterior clutter. If you have a lot of clutter around your home, go around it and start cleaning that up. This week is a good time to do that. And then when you open your front door and you enter in, Make sure that you can walk into the house uh, without debris all over the floor there, like shoes and, you know, books and things like that. Remove them from the um, inside of the front door, making that space easy access for uh, positive energy to flow into your home. So <clears throat> these are just a couple of tips that I'm going to give you today and then invite you to join me on my live calls so we can really get into the serious business of feng shui your home and you. You are also to be feng shui <laughs> in a way that um, you never expected. We also want to amp up the energy in your home in a new way. I am adding in some very beautiful um, mandalas that I have just created and um, we're going to add them into the feng shui of your bagua areas in your home where the energy of gold and Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth, is going to be running the energy vibration for each room in your house. So if you are taking care of your energy and you are clearing yourself and getting healed and, you know, um, breaking free from limitations, then you should also be doing the same for your house. 
or it's all done in vain because you are marinating in that energy in your house 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The energy is running in you, through you, around you. So if your space is out of balance and you come in there and you just went through a, you know, massage or yoga or dance class or you went for a healing session and you come into your space and your space is unbalanced and it doesn't feel good in there um, and things aren't, you know, flowing right for you, we must balance that house as well, correct? Yeah, it's like, um, you know, we take a shower, we put on fresh clothes. So we are squeaky clean, um, you know, in inside and out. But if you took a shower and you put on your old clothes, it makes no sense, right? So that's what we're doing here. We are going to energetically um, take a shower <laughs> and clean up our entire lives, okay, in one shot. So you, you may have been uh, working diligently uh, trying to, you know, change your life in many areas or one or two areas. And <clears throat> it's been a tough uh, struggle. So this has a lot to do with the feng shui in your home space and around your home space and raising up the interior vibration as well as when you're raising up yours. So your neighborhood has a vibration, all right? Your land has a certain vibration. It has a signature. It has an echo. So people may have left a, um, you know, energetic echo in that space uh, or on the land years ago. And so when we move in, okay, we're bringing in our energy, our belongings, our belongings all have an energetic uh, vibration to them too. So we have to come into that space and then we're trying to, you know, um, balance it all out. And it's fun and it's new and exciting. And then you realize something doesn't work well there or something doesn't feel right. Or um, you're having some issues with entities or, you know, <clears throat> bad uh, neighbors and things like that. So what we want to do is we want to change that for you and um you know show you a new way of balancing your energy and your home's energy with an easy breezy solution so i invite you to join me on my live calls today i have one it is august 27 at 3 p.m i'll be speaking on uh the alara campfield show at 3 p.m. today and the link for that will be underneath this video. I will also be on with Christine Williams on the Greatest Youth Summit on September 2nd and then on September 19th I will be on the um, Awakening Heart Network which is a brand new summit for me so I'm really excited about that and I hope you will join me on um, these wonderful telesummits and share your experiences you know ask your questions um you know that's how we get our answers and our solutions by being there and raising our hands uh and asking the question uh don't be afraid to you know raise a certain question um i would love to assist you in any way possible so today I just gave you a few tips and um, I want to share, you know, whatever I can with you uh, as a free gift, you know, from me to you. And I'm really grateful for you showing up here today and just taking a few moments of your time with me. Uh, you could be doing anything else, so I'm so grateful you showed up and stayed on. Uh, subscribe to the channel here, share the videos, press the like button. And also, when you do subscribe, click the little bell icon so that you will receive the email notifications from YouTube uh, each time I upload a video on this channel. I would really appreciate you uh, 
uh, sharing the videos and also telling your friends about me and my work okay if you have experienced something um, you know special by working with me or my mp3s or even with a free gift that I uh, have sent out to you if you're on my email list you know let me know so we can um, add you to my testimonial list you know it's growing every day we just had a woman who came to me who was barren and the doctors years ago had removed some you know female parts and she was told you know she'd have a real hard time ever conceiving a baby well she just had her brand new baby boy the other day and we're celebrating because we work together and um, I believe that we somehow regrew them organs there, them parts, um, because the doctors were astonished when they saw the results as she was pregnant. And she and her husband were really, um, you know, working on that together. And then we all had a session together and we found out that she was pregnant and it was just an amazing miracle. Um, and I wanted to share that with you. Also, we had another man. He had a heart transplant. He's very young in his late 20s and recently he's had some, you know, problems. Uh, so he was put in the hospital and they kept him there for several days and then they sent him home with a clean bill of health. So we are just cheering. You know, this week has been very um, happy. There's been some moments where people, of course, have been struggling still, and that's the way life flows. So we want to get you out of struggle. So if you're in any struggle, you know, you come to the right place because I know what my work can do. So right now we're going to focus on um, feng shui my way, you know, I call it feng shui Marlena's way because I chose to create it in my own special way, which has worked for me and countless thousands of other people that I have helped. So I want to be a, an assistant to you in your life's journey. You matter. I want you to know that you really do matter to me. I celebrate when you celebrate and I'm, I'm not going to give up. All right. So I don't want you to give up on your dreams and your goals. And what is your main goal today? Bring that to the call. Bring it to the call. And let's work on that together. So have an awesome day. I must run now. I have um, great plans for this call today. So I will be talking to you live in a few hours. Have an awesome day. Whatever you are doing. Enjoy your life to the fullest. Every moment counts. And... Make sure that you smile today. Smile at everybody and raise your vibration and share the joy across the planet. Remember, money follows joy, okay? Love is attracted to happy people. So, that's two little tips today. Have a great day.